name is Michelle Kraut, and I'm the Civil War and Reconstruction Specialist in the Manuscript Division at the Library of Congress. After Abraham Lincoln gave his second inaugural address on March 4, 1865, unlike modern presidents who often have speechwriters who collaborate with the president, he was his own speechwriter. The 4th of March, 1865 started out as a horrific day weather-wise. It was pelting rain and gales and wind, and it was just a really miserable day. Vice President Andrew Johnson took his oath of office inside the Capitol itself. They come out so that Lincoln can give his address and take his oath of office. And when Lincoln came out, sun broke through the clouds and shone brightly. You might expect the speech would be a victory speech. You might expect uh, policies about reconstruction or going into the future, but it's a very unusual address in that it really does not address those kind of issues. He looks back very briefly about what the war was about, and he specifies that American slavery was, you know, everybody understood that American slavery was somehow the cause. And then he looks to the future. Frederick Douglass, the, the great abolitionist speaker, was in the crowd the, that day. When Lincoln asked him what he thought of the speech, he called it a sacred effort. With malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right, let us strive on to finish the work that we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations.